When you work with startups, what are some of the things that they could improve in their approach to technology? Well, we deal with startups, and the biggest challenge we have with uh, technology is users or developers put in technology that they think solves the problem. They don't put in technology that the customer thinks solves the problem. So we want them to be much more customer-centric. We want them to have applications. We want customers liking the product so much that they're actually paying for it as opposed to getting it for free or here's what I think it is and not taking the time to go figure out what it really should be, which is not always obvious. It's always it's often unobvious as to what the technology needs to do to solve a customer's problem or where the real problem is. So we want people to be much more customer-centric and user-centric in their, their implementation most developers are self-centric. You know, they just do what they think is the right way and what they see, and it comes out to be a lesser solution, of course. And then it's tough when you build something and you can't sell it. What happened? Well, you built what you wanted. You didn't build what they wanted. So our rule is sell it first, build it second. If you can't sell it in the first place, you don't need to build it in the second place. But that's more of a, I guess, a practical investor's approach to technology development. You really want to do what you're passionate about because at the end of the day, you're going to be doing a, doing a lot of time on it. And uh, the dollar return and the other returns go away eventually and you're left with the body of work. And if it's what, you, what was your passion, well, then it will be fulfilling. If it was not what your passion was, then it won't be fulfilling. So certainly you have to do what, what you find as your passionate fulfillment in order to be happy at the end of the process because it's a lot of work to go into anything you do.